Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I'm very excited to be unboxing the GQ box for spring of 2023. Now if you're unfamiliar with the GQ box, this is a quarterly men's lifestyle fashion accessory type subscription box where each quarter or every three months you get products sent to you. So things like jewelry, watches, uh, socks, skincare, all sorts of things um, that are curated by the GQ team. Uh, the box is $50 every quarter. You can sign up annually to get a little bit cheaper as well. I personally bought this as a gift subscription and this is my second box getting it. So it won't renew after the year. I got an annual one. Um, but if you guys like it on the channel, I'll keep it after the full year. So we're on box number two, the spring 2023 box. And with that, welcome back to all the sub box lovers out there. Welcome if you're new. My name is Katrina, and on my channel, I unbox lots of different subscription boxes, and I'm trying to sp sprinkle in some men's subscription boxes as well, even though that's not the total focus of my channel. So, if you like these men's subscription boxes, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, and make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, and let's dive in. I am super happy that you're here with me today, hanging out, unboxing this GQ box. I've seen some spoilers and I'm actually kind of excited about what's inside, so this is what the box looks like. And when you open it up, that's what the inside looks like. It says, at GQ, we are constantly on the hunt for the best in grooming, fashion, lifestyle, and tech. And we have a need to share the perfect version of everything we find. Fortunately, we have the best perfect outlet for this obsessive testing process, the GQ box. Um, so it's an exceptional selection of the smartest, coolest, hardest working, and best performing products available. So you do get a little pamphlet that's gonna go over everything inside of the spring box. It's a $258 value for $50. So there is a a little note from the editors of GQ. I'll read parts of it. So it says, we're not sure what the weather feels like in your neck of the woods, but in the GQ offices, spring is in the air. It's a great time to hit the reset button and the perfect opportunity to consider new gear you'll be living in as the mercury climbs. Mm, I don't know anything. Are they talking about mercury retrograde? I don't know anything about that. Um, um, so I don't want to, then it goes into all the details of what's inside. So let's just dive in. All right. Now the first thing out is a very, very exciting thing in the box. It is a Breda watch. So this is their Virgil watch. And it, I don't know if these were made specifically for the GQ box or not, but it does have the GQ logo on it. Now I recently got a Breda box from the curator shop that I really love. I still need to adjust it to fit my wrist, but this will be really cool. So this retails for $150 and I really do enjoy Breda's packaging. So when you lift it up, this is what the watch looks like. So you've got like the little band there and then I'll tell let me take the, let me peel this off the top of the watch. That is what it looks like. I will say the watch that I got was in nicer packaging, but it was a $200 watch and it was a women's watch where this is, I think more geared towards being a men's watch. And it came with like a little sleeve. It was, there was more metal on it. So, um, so this is for over a decade now, the upstart watchmakers at Breda have made their Swiss counterparts quake. So for our spring box, we collaborated with their team on a GQ exclusive dress watch oozing and retro charm complete with a moss green dial and a croc embossed leather strap designed in the brand's Dallas HQ. Now, I don't know if this watches, but I do believe that these have like the Seiko quartz in them. The one that I did, I don't know if this one does, it doesn't actually say, but I think this is a really nice watch. Um, this box, because it's a men's box, I let my boyfriend go through what's in it and he keeps what he wants and then I figure out what to do with the rest. But I think he'll like this. I don't know. He's been wanting a different watch. So this will be very exciting because it is a really, really nice watch. Um, and this does have a two year uh, warranty. You get the little serial number that you can register it. So really, really nice. I think this is a really great product to get in a $50 box. Um, so a very awesome Breda watch. Up next, we have some socks. These are the Gold Toe Sport Stripe Socks, excuse me, Stripe Short Crew Socks, um, two pack that retail for $14. These feel very, very nice. So you have one that has like red, white, and blue with a golden toe on them. And then, well, you have a gray pair with um, blue and green that also has a golden or yellow toe on them. These feel very, very nice quality. 
Um, it doesn't have a shoe size like associated with this, so it's, I guess it's one size fits all. Oh, fit shoe size is 6 to 12 and a half. So here it does say that Gold Toe has been churning out top notch hosiery um, for close to a century, and it's been a Jiku favorite for nearly as long. So much so, in fact, that we linked up with them earlier this year to design a handful of pitch perfect socks made of ridiculously durable cotton and equipped with the brand's proprietary moisture control technology exclusive for box subscribers. These do feel very, very nice. Um, so yeah, I think we got a pair of socks in the last GQ box but just one pair. So, so far it's two for two for socks. I don't know if socks feel like spring for me. Like the watch I could see could feel spring, but like tall socks don't feel spring to me. That being said, they're very nice socks. So I think they're awesome to be in the box. All right, the next thing out comes in this package here. Look at the sticker on the back with, I guess that's a wolf or a dog. That looks really, really cool. Um, so let's open this up. Okay, this is very interesting. So this is from Wesson, the MT, which retails for $40. Um, and this is a multi-tool for the modern man. So it has a screwdriver, a, uh, it's made of premium steel, it has a bottle opener in it, added grip, a scraper and a pry bar all in one. So it says here that the Detroit-based gear wonks at Wesson specialize in pocket-sized tools and their signature jack-of-all-trades contraption, part bottle opener, part flathead screwdriver, part pry bar is definitive proof that good things really do come in small packages. Okay, very cool. This feels very nice quality. I'm curious to see like, what do you guys think of this? I wanna know what my boyfriend's gonna think of this like when he sees it, if he's gonna think it's cool or if he's just gonna think that it's, you know, whatever. What I will say is I love their package. It, like, I love their branding. I think that's very, very cool. Ooh, the roots lie in Sweden. Very awesome. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a really cool tool. It has a couple things all in one. I don't know. Like, I, I'm, oh, so let me, I probably should have already said this, but I am not the target audience for this box. I get this more so for my boyfriend. <laughs> And then, you know, whatever, I can give stuff to my dad or donate or whatever. Um, but I just want to, I love subscription boxes and that's why I have it on my channel. So I am not the target audience for this. I think it's cool, but like, is it gimmicky? Is it cool? I don't know. Let me know. What do you think about this down in the comments? All right, up next, we have something from Pura Vida. And these are bracelets that retail for $7. So it says here that these Pura Vida bracelets boast a crafty DIY vibe that's all the rage in men's jewelry right now. Just ask elite uh, level style gurus like uh, us. <laughs> the best part, the brand also partners with over 200 charities worldwide, raising more than $4 million to date. One per box colors vary. There's also like a yellow and black one. This one's kind of like blue, white, and black. Um, and you can like adjust it. Like when you put it on, you can like move it to make it bigger or smaller or whatever. And then you can tighten it or whatever. Um, I personally am, I don't like wearing bracelets like this. I don't like wearing bracelets, period. Bracelets just aren't my jewelry piece. I have no idea. I don't think my boyfriend would wear this. I don't, I've never seen him wear this type of thing. So I'm curious to see if he would or not. I don't think there's anything wrong. I think they do look cool. I've just never seen him wear a bracelet. <laughs> Um, so the thing about this box is you get a lot of skincare and like things like this where like not all men are probably going to be into into this subscription if that makes sense. Like I think he's gonna like the socks and the watch and probably the tool but like the bracelet I think he's not gonna be into. But that's okay because I could wear it and like this is a very gender neutral like anybody could wear this so that's a nice thing you could give it to somebody else. Up next we have some skincare from Cause RX. This is their Propolis Light Ampule. This retails for $28. Now I personally have received this before in a subscription box. I didn't use it because it's not so much for my skin um, but it says here what separates dull dehydrated skin from dermis so dewy you might fall in love with your own reflection. According to the skincare experts at Cause RX it comes down to propolis extract, a soothing mixture the brand uses and it's easy to apply serum. Now, uh, not if I have oily skin, this sounds like it's gonna make your skin super dewy. I haven't personally tried it, it's not for me. Again, you do get a decent amount of skincare in this box with the accessories, so some men are really into skincare, some men are really not into skincare, so it just depends. Like, if you're thinking about getting this box for yourself or for somebody else, um, just keep that in mind. Um, but not bad. Or if you could get it, you get it for your partner and then keep some of the skincare stuff if they don't want it. That being said, for me, this isn't really my thing. I think my boyfriend has oily skin, so I don't know if he will want it. If not, it'll go in a giveaway. All right, up next, we have a couple of products from Jack Black, which is like, I don't know. I feel like this is like, if I think about a men's brand, I think about this one for whatever reason. So the first one that we got is 
beard lube. <laughs> um, it's $13 for three ounces. This is 1.5. So this is not a full size product. Um, so this is like six, seven dollars. Um, so what does this do? So it says, if your New Year's resolution involved reconfiguring your shaving routine, you're in luck. This triple whammy beard lube, a do-it-all formula that works just as well as a pre-shave oil, shaving cream, and aftershave conditioner, comes packed with hydration to ensure a smooth glide without clogging your blades. Interesting. Well, obviously you need somebody who shaves their facial hair that way to be able to use this, but it's definitely interesting. It's a decent size, quote, sample. Um, since it is half the size of the full size. So I think that's actually a pretty decent size to include in the box. So not mad at it. I don't think my boyfriend uses something like this, but I don't really know. I don't pay attention to that part of his routine. So we'll see if he wants it or not. And then we also got a lip balm. So this is their Intense Therapy Lip Balm SPF 25. It's natural mint and shea butter. This retails for $10. He will like this. He does use a lot of lip balm type stuff. So I think he will enjoy this. I think, I'm gonna assume it has, yeah, it has like that type of applicator. Um, so this helps with dry chapped lips. It's an emollient balm with plenty of antioxidants like vitamin E and green tea, tea extract, along with a healthy dose of SPF to keep your pucker as smooth as sweet bourbon. Okay, very cool. I think that's really nice. I like a mint thing. So you get a little set of Jack Black products. And then the last product in the box is a sheet mask. This is the Medeca Derma Revitalizing Mask. It's $19.99 for a pack of 10. Um, we only got one mask, so it's like a $2 mask. It's a pure cotton sheet mask for fresh, youthful looking skin. So this is a Korean company and they have antioxidant rich Centella Asiatica extract, which sounds wonky, but feels fantastic. You use this once a week for 20 minutes. I think last time he really liked doing the sheet mask that I gave him. So he will have this one this time too. I actually really like the packaging and how simple it is. So you do get some skincare and some other products in here, which I think is nice. I kind of like the box more for the accessory part than the skincare type stuff. That being said, I get a lot of skincare normally and I don't get as many of the fun accessories. So I think that might be why. Now, one thing that's interesting on here is they are sponsored by Espelon Tequila, but like you don't get any, it's, you don't get anything from them. Like normally I feel like when you have a sponsor, they give a sample or like, here's a discount code. No, it's just the sponsor. It doesn't say anything. So that's, I don't know, weird. I, you would think you'd at least get like a discount code for the box sponsor, but it's sponsored by Espelang Tequila, this box. So that was everything in the spring box. Um, it doesn't really feel super spring for me, if I'm fully honest. Um, the socks make it feel winter and the mint in the lip balm also like read winter to me. That being said, I think the winner of this is this Breda watch. I think it's really awesome that you get a $150 watch in a $50 box. And if you like the watch, then I think it's good. If this is not your style of watch, then I'm not sure the box would, would be worth it, honestly, based on what you get. Um, but I think it's an interesting box. I've enjoyed unboxing the two that I've unboxed so far just because they are so different from what I regularly unbox because I do unbox other lifestyle boxes, but they're typically women's lifestyle boxes. So they just look and feel a little bit different, but I'm very curious to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think of the spring GQ box? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What do you like? What do you not like? Like I said, the, the watch is my favorite, but I think socks are our second fave there. So I um, would love to hear your thoughts down below. I'll leave a link in case you're interested in signing up. Again, this is $50 a quarter, um, but sometimes they have deals or like you can get a free gift when you sign up. So definitely make sure you scout all that out before signing up. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're subscribed and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on future uploads. And I'll see you in my next video.